So today I'm just going to do a video about organising the alley panel kit um, that you need for the chassis. Either you cut it yourself or you like this, uh, you'll buy the pre-cut aluminium kit. Um, so first thing first, we've got to identify what all of the different panels are. And if you then look in Dropbox, you'll see a series of photos and some drawings that show where the panels go, uh, what folds are required on them, um, and stuff like that. So first of all, let's identify which panels by their, uh, or let's assign some part numbers to their to the panel so that they tie up with those pictures and drawings in the Dropbox folder. So first of all, this is the floor pan. The um, thing to know about this is if you've ordered a chassis or built a chassis with a dropped floor and this will need trimming, all you need to needed to have alerted us um, beforehand so that we provide you with a, a smaller one that takes account of the dropped floor. The um, part number for the floor pan Oh, and um, so another little background is that you've got three panels that make up the entire, uh, sorry, a total of four panels, three different shapes that make up the floor pan of the car. And they're easily identifiable because they're the panels that are made from 1.5 millimeter alley. All the others are 18 gauge alley, so slightly thinner. Um, so this is the main floor pan. That panel goes at the front of the chassis underneath. And those panels, the right orientation of course, go underneath the engine bay at the, to the back of the chassis. Sorry, and those panels go at the back of the chassis underneath the engine bay. So that's what the bottom of the chassis uh, complete would look like. Right, so assigning part numbers. The rear under the engine bay panels are GTS 40 0078. The main section of floor itself is 0076 and the front of the floor is 0075. So that's the floor pans. Now uh, there's two more panels that are cut from the 1.5 mm meter alley and that's the side seal tops that go above where the fuel tank sit and they are part number 0077 so that's allocated all of the 1.5 millimeter alley panels so I'll move on to uh, the more numerous and smaller um, thinner panels that go uh, panel okay so this panel is 0062 and it goes across the top of where your feet and the pedals will be it's got some uh, quite a lot of folding on it um, but you can find out the uh, folding for any of the panels by looking in the drop box um, and using that part number to pull up the drawing that panel is 0057 and that goes vertically in front of the 0062 panel so essentially that's the front bulkhead front of where the back this is 0059 and this goes um, above where your feet would be uh, but closer to the top of the steering and dash frame and that panel 0060 is the closeout uh, that forms an access panel so you can get down towards the pedals and anything underneath where the steering column is. The little holes on the periphery are drilled as a guide for putting riv nuts in so that you can make that a removable access panel uh, using 5mm uh, uh, cap head screws. Right, these panels will go uh, in the cockpit area 
we have first of all 0068 which is the seat back bulkhead sort of goes in front of the uh, rear roll hoop the 69 is the little triangular ones either side and they go either side of that panel in the car 56 is the this panel goes at the bottom of the 68 panel it's basically the lower part of the seat back bulkhead and the other two are 0093 and they go either side of the tunnel in the cockpit these panels are 0058 and they go one either side on the inside of the cockpit uh, these panels are 0067 and they go in the area around the front suspension as to these next two panels 0071 they kind of go uh, as a pair each side but these next two panels are also in a similar area uh, to the other panels these are 0072 easily identifiable by the little hole that they've got in them and the last ones for that area of the chassis 0066 identifiable by the big hole which is where the steering rack goes through now these two triangular shaped are 0061 and they go it's kind of an obvious position they go either end of the um, dash stroke steering frame so either end of the T3 tube assemblies zero, zero, 0065 which go the little win square window goes around the front uh, shock absorber uh, chassis mounting they are 0073. Those panels are 0070. Zero, 0064. Zero, they go kind of above where the wheel, uh, front wheel would be, um, panelling in the sloping section uh, on the underside of the uh, dash frame. These panels are 0079 and they go um, on sort of in the engine bay uh, on top on the top of the T2 tubes in the engine bay uh, sort of either side of the engine the little heart semicircular cutouts in the back to go around the um, rear hoop uh, backstay and those two panels are 0078 and they're a pair with they sort of go on the other side of the 0079s again on top of the T2 tubes uh, in the engine bay either side of where the engine is so thanks for watching that video that's the complete alley panel set uh, there are a couple of panels that you need to hand make uh, either basically either end of the um, side seals where the fuel tanks go because uh, you need to make them up to suit the shape of the side seal, how you fit it. Um, and there may be a couple of other panels which are um, sort of optional, how you put them in, it, whether you put them in or how you put them in. Uh, but that's the basic kit that we supply. Uh, check out our other videos, especially the one about making the chassis from a laser cut tube pack of... Um, and please subscribe to the channel, that way you get notifications of any new videos that we do. And um, I hope that video has made things a little bit clearer on at least how to start organising the chassis panels or making your own. Okay, thanks very much. Catch you later.